In this video, I will show you what to do if your iPhone 11 started freezing after the iOS 14 update. Lags and freezes may occur every now and then, even to high-end devices, like iPhone 11. However, they're not as serious as other issues. Most of the time, performance-related problems can be fixed by doing a few troubleshooting procedures. If you're one of the owners with this problem, here's what you need to do. First solution, close apps and then force restart your iPhone. There are times when there are already a lot of applications running in the background that your iPhone's performance drops. If this is the case with your iPhone, then you can fix it by simply closing all applications running in the background and refreshing the memory by doing the forced restart. Here's how. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen and stop at the middle. This will show you the app previews. Now, swipe up on the previews to close them. To force restart your iPhone, quickly press and release the volume up button and then do the same for the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, press and hold the power key for 15 seconds or until the Apple logo shows. Now wait for your iPhone to finish restarting. Once the reboot is finished, try to see if your iPhone still lags and freezes. Second solution, check your iPhone storage and for new update. If your device is running low on storage space, it will also affect its performance. But aside from that, the problem can also be with the firmware, so it's better to also check for a new update and install it if possible. This is how you do those things. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Touch iPhone storage and check if there's enough storage. If you only have around 2 gigabytes, then delete some of your files to free up some space. Go back to the previous screen and then touch software update. If there's an update available, then download and install it. After making sure that your iPhone has enough storage space and that its firmware is updated and yet its performance is still poor, then move on to the next solution. Third solution, reset all settings. If the first solution failed to fix the problem, then what you need to do is to reset all settings on your iPhone to make sure the performance issue isn't due to some inappropriate settings. This is how it's done. From the home screen, tap Settings. Find and tap Generals. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen and then touch Reset. Touch Reset All Settings. If prompted, enter your security locks. Tap Reset All Settings at the bottom of the screen and then tap Reset All Settings again to confirm. Your iPhone will reboot after this. Once it has finished rebooting, try to use the phone as you normally would to see if the performance has returned to normal. Fourth solution, factory reset your iPhone. If the previous procedures failed to fix the problem, then you are most likely dealing with some major iOS flaw that requires a more advanced solution. In this case, your remaining options would be a factory reset and iOS restore. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap Generals. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen and then touch Reset. Tap Erase All Contents and Settings. Tap Erase Now. If prompted, enter your security locks. Tap Erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone again to proceed. Now, enter your Apple ID password and then tap Erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. We would appreciate it if you can like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.